Hi everyone, in this video we'll study normal random variables. Now x is a normal random variable. Let's just assume that x is a normal random variable, which is written like this. It has two parameters, mu and sigma square. Those are the two parameters of x. And for this random variable, its probability density function or PDF is given in this form. And normal random variables are extremely important. And so it is very important to remember these random variables. And let's look at its distribution and how it looks like pictorially. Okay. So it has two parameters, mu and sigma square. Essentially, mu will be its mean. And sigma square is its variance. And we will compute the mean of normal random variable and see that it evaluates to uh, mu. So mu and sigma square are the mean and variance for normal random variable and its PDF is given in this form, which is one by two pi square or root of two pi sigma e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by two sigma square. And how is this helpful? How does this PDF look like? Now its PDF is pictorially is going to look like this is it's called something called a bell curve and that is what we use when faculty grade students like that's a bell that's the bell curve that you have heard so it looks something like this okay it looks symmetrical this point is not zero this is going to be negative infinity and this is going to be positive infinity and this is the pdf of x so it there is it maximizes at mu the value is maximum at this value for mu here and it is symmetrical on both sides of mu and you can see that it falls very very steeply on both sides but it does not go to zero it is going to go to zero only as your x here is going to tend to infinity or negative infinity it is symmetrical so it is a very useful random variable and this is how its PDF looks like. Okay. Now, before we derive its mean to be mu in this video, what I am going to do is I'm going to talk about an important fact. So in some later video, we'll talk about how Gaussian or normal random variables are useful. Another name is of this random variable is also called a Gaussian random variable. And But here I'll just talk about one more property and then I'll derive the mean of this random variable. So say you have another random variable y, which is given like this. So y is related to x as alpha times x plus beta. Okay. And x is normally distributed with this mu and sigma square. Then it can be easily proved that y will also be normally distributed with parameters alpha mu plus beta and alpha square sigma square. So the, the expectation of y is this, that is the mean of y and this is the variance of y. And this is something that this property is something that is very useful. So you can easily transform one normal random variable into another if they are related in this way, okay? So in the rest of this video, I'll just talk about how we can derive the mean of a normal random variable and see how that evaluates to um, mu itself, okay? So let's do that from first principles. So expectation of x is going to be, basically you will have this part of the fx, which is constant. So note that this is your fx. So the first half that is constant will come out of the integration. So we will have, we are integral, going to integrate from minus infinity to infinity. And what we are going to do is x times e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square dx. Okay. 
Now to solve this, what we will do is we'll write x uh, equal to x minus mu plus mu. We're just going to write it in this form. Okay, and we'll see how that is useful. Now, if you do that, we can actually split this one integration into two parts. So expectation of x will evaluate to sigma times x minus mu e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square dx. That's the first part. And the second part will evaluate to mu by sigma. Okay, so this will come out. So we wrote x as x minus mu plus mu and just separated those two terms. And once again, we can we'll be integrating from minus infinity to infinity, e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square dx. Okay. Now, what can we do? Now, for the first part, what we can do is, so let's just consider the first half. This is the first half. Okay, first part. And the second part. Now the second part, let's look at the second part. The second part is actually very easy. Now, e to the power minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square dx. Okay. If you less concentrate on this, that is going to be nothing, but that is come, going to be equal to the PDF. Okay, so if you consider the entire first part, that is mu times 1 by 2, 2 pi, square root of pi times sigma, if you consider this, this is going to evaluate to mu fx dx minus infinity to infinity. And if you integrate the entire PDF, what you're going to get is mu times 1, that is mu. So the second part is going to evaluate to mu. So in the expectation, what we will have is, we have first part, I'm just going to write it that way, the first part plus mu. So mu is the par one of the parameters of the normal distribution. And as I mentioned, that is going to be our mean. So the, essentially the first part will evaluate to zero. Okay, so let's just see how the first part will evaluate to zero. Okay, so we'll, I'll rewrite the first part again for our convenience. So the first part is 1 by square root of 2 pi times sigma minus infinity to infinity x minus mu e to the power minus x minus mu square by 2 sigma square dx. Now this is the first part. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let y equals x minus mu. That is we're going to substitute x minus mu to be y. And then what we're going to get is this. So we're going to inf integrate minus infinity to infinity because as x goes to infinity y would go to infinity as well. As x goes to negative infinity, y would go to negative infinity. And we'll get y times e to the power minus y squared by 2 sigma square dy. Okay? Because if uh, y is x minus mu, then we'll get dy equals dx. Now, the important thing to note here is that this part is going to be symmetric. So if we break this up, Okay. If you break this up, you're going to get minus infinity to 0, y e to the power minus y square by 2 sigma square dy plus zero to infinity y times minus y square by 2 sigma square dy. 
So we're not going to try to solve this. We're just going to understand this. Now, say if we assume that for this part, we assume y equals negative y. Okay, we just, then this would come out to be in this form. If you just for this part, it will be 1 by 2 sigma, 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma. You'll have the integration going from 0 to infinity. And because we sub substituted y for negative y, a negative sign is going to come out. And you will have the insight to look exactly like this. So the, the, the first term and the second term would look symmetric. They are symmetric, but the first term's integration was, in, was from negative infinity to 0. The second term's integration was from 0 to uh, infinity. So we just converted the first term to also integrate from 0 to infinity. So it came on a negative sign front. And you'll have the same thing. So now you can see that both the terms are the same. And the first term and the second term would basically cancel each other. And, we'll, and therefore, they will both evaluate. The addition of them is going to evaluate to 0. Therefore, the expectation of x is going to come out to 0 plus mu, which is so in this video, what did we study? We studied what is a normal distribution and how it looks like. And we studied its uh, PDF. So this is how its PDF looks like. This is the mathematical form. We studied an important property of if y and x are related in linearly, that y would also follow a normal distribution with a separate set of parameters. And then we finally derived now the expectation is going to come out to be to be mu. Okay. So with this, I'll complete this video. Thank you for watching.